What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to this week's all-new Star Wars video. Today, in honor of Star Wars Rebels coming back from a brief break this Saturday in the middle of a pretty huge arc about Sabine and her Mandalorian roots, I wanted to talk about a question that's been in the back of my mind over the first couple of episodes of this new Mandalorian arc. Is Sabine's mission doomed? For those of you that haven't caught the beginning of the new arc, with the recovery of the Darksaber, the Rebels came up with a plan to have Sabine train with the weapon, which is kind of a cultural relic for the Mandalorians, as the lightsaber of the first Mandalorian Jedi, Tar Vizsla. Vizsla's family recovered the blade after his death and used it to unify the Mandalorian clans under their rule. Using this as a guide, the Ghost crew is seizing on the opportunity to unite the Mandalorians behind Sabine, and therefore the Rebellion, giving a huge boost to the Rebel Alliance's fight against the Empire. While that's a pretty solid plan, this is definitely going to be an uphill battle, as from what little we know so far, the Empire have the Mandalorians pretty well controlled, with an Imperial occupation first, and by the time of Rebels, an Imperial-supported government led by Viceroy Gar Saxon. With a heavy Imperial presence and even an Imperial Academy on Mandalore, many Mandalorians, because of their warrior background and superior training, go on to become Imperial Super Commandos. Sabine's own family turned on her in support of the Empire, which led Sabine herself to escape and ultimately join the Rebellion. With all that stacked against the Rebels, the plan to facilitate a Mandalorian uprising seems like it might have a lot of trouble just getting off the ground, even with the Darksaber in hand, as even though there probably are some sympathetic Mandalorians, many seem to be loyal Loyalists, despite the Empire's harsh rule, literally the majority of Mandalorians we've seen in this show. While the replacement of the old Legends canon with the new Extended Universe means there's a lot of backstory still to be explored and a lot of room for Rebels to operate here, if we look to the old canon as a guide, the mission might be successful, but not 100%. In the old canon, the Mandalorians did eventually rise up against the Empire in a successful rebellion with the help of key Alliance members. But only after the destruction of the first Death Star, and in fact, just a year before the death of the Emperor in Return of the Jedi. Even if it doesn't happen exactly this way, whether in timeline or sequence of events, there's also not much mention in the old or new canons of Mandalorians having a prominent role in the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War, casting some doubt on the potential success of Sabine's mission. Ultimately, I think one of two things is likely for the conclusion of this Mandalorian Rebels arc, and I don't think it's going to be a complete failure, so either A, Sabine successfully starts the seeds of a rebellion on Mandalore and or B, then leaves the Ghost crew to continue leading that uprising. While this wouldn't exactly be a complete success, as the Mandalorians probably wouldn't be able to assist the Rebel Alliance much at all with the fight ongoing for their own independence, it's still a fulfillment of one of the mission's major objectives. It's gonna be a tough fight though, so let me know what you think of this theory in the comment section down below, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, and subscribe for more great content every single day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.